I get asked often, what is Amazon Relay? How does Amazon Relay work? How can I become a carrier for Amazon Relay? And where do I sign up for Amazon Relay? So in this video, I will talk about, without any editing, about what is Amazon Relay? What are the Amazon Relay service level expectations? How are carriers using Amazon Relay? Why potentially become an Amazon Relay partner? Also, we'll talk about how to use Amazon Relay. We'll talk about how to haul freight for Amazon with Relay. We'll also talk about how you can get Amazon loads as an owner, operator, truck driver. We'll talk about requirements for Amazon Relay. We'll talk about also Amazon Relay insurance requirements. What type of truck or equipment uh, Amazon works with. We'll also talk about the short term Amazon trucking contracts that they have. We'll talk about how much does Amazon Relay loads typically pay on average. We'll also touch base in this video about how much uh, Amazon uh, an Amazon truck makes. Uh, we'll also talk about when do you get paid for hauling Amazon Relay loads. We'll also uh, talk about just what my kind of thoughts are on the whole thing. So essentially Amazon Relay was something that was uh, created by Amazon and it's a program that they have, they call it Amazon Relay to meet evolving transportation demands respectively. And this was done during the, you know what, in 2020 uh, and uh, latter stages of 2019 without mentioning the name. And Amazon did experience a spike in profits, of course. They saw pretty much a double in revenue at that time. And uh, this kind of meant that e-commerce retail giants required an increase in transportation capacity to pick up and deliver Amazon loads because people were buying more and they were needing those deliveries to be made. Now, the good news is that trucking companies and freight brokers can definitely tap into this Amazon network if they feel like it is the right fit for them. You always in any kind of business, when you're thinking about growing your business and you're thinking about increasing your own revenue, you have to consider, is it really right for you? You know, is the partnership between this program and your company, what you offer the right fit? So with Amazon Relay, the program uh, makes it easy for fleet owners to find Amazon loads to haul to the destination that they need uh, a halt. So Amazon created Relay to help the truck delivery process happen. Now the platform is a bid to make this uh, uh, platform process as error free as possible by eliminating phone calls and paperwork. And everything truck owners and drivers need is the Relay app. So in essence, Amazon Relay helps carriers have full work weeks by offering short term contracts per load. Uh, they also help increase and plan the revenue on an ad hoc basis. Uh, in other words, an unplanned basis. And they also help uh, post availability of idle trucks so that Relay can book loads and uh, this can optimize the free time and avoid empty trips or empty miles. And uh, also it helps with the review. Uh, you can review what loads are available so that you can potentially instantly book work with Amazon. Now, when it comes to their service level expectations, Relay does have high service expectations. So any kind of carrier needs to ensure if they want to set up with them that they meet the highest level of performance and safety. Now, the complete performance expectations can be accessed via the Amazon Relay Carrier Terms of Service. Uh, when, of course, your application is accept accepted and you're registered or onboarded. But kind of in short, what it kind of states is that you have to comply with all Amazon Relay insurance requests, Department of Transportation and safety requirements as well. Also consistently accept loads. So your acceptance rate has to be higher. Also, you have to complete load uh, booking, pickup and delivery via the Amazon Relay technology, which is their mobile app, the Relay mobile app. And you have to complete each load by delivering it on time so Amazon can fulfill their customer uh, promise. And to track performance, you can access your performance scorecard in the Relay portal. You can use the scorecard, which shows your performance for all the loads to improve and grow your business relationship with Amazon that way. You can almost use it as a negotiation tactic. Now, how are carriers using Amazon Relay? Well, carriers are using Amazon Relay to help manage the loads from the 
e-commerce platform giant. Now this gives carriers a chance to earn more revenue, manage their loads, pick up a load when they have an empty truck or extra space on their truck, eliminate downtime and a few other things. But simply carriers can sign up for this portal and uh, carriers can view the load board onto which Amazon sellers, business to business or business to consumers post available loads. And a carrier can then search for a load that fits their truck, current route and other of course matching criteria. Now, some other reasons you may join Am the Amazon Freight Partner Program is essentially to grow your transportation company, uh, multiply your routes, uh, minimize empty trips, optimize your operational capacity, easily and quickly secure loads, manage your load schedules, uh, assign loads to your drivers, review payments, increase your revenue, analyze driver performance and things of that nature. Some other things that some people like about it is that the Relay Portal app is free for both iOS and Android. Uh, they, there are no currently no minimum load requirements in terms of the number of loads you take in terms of volume of, of loads. However, um, you know, there is an acceptance rate uh, minimum that you have to uphold. You can also view and download payment details. You can report delays. There's real time alerts regarding loads and yard instructions. You can raise any issues with the app or loads. Uh, short term truck parking contracts or truck contracts, excuse me, are available. Um, and also there's an, a quick approval process. In addition to this, to haul freight for Amazon with their freight transportation management system, which they call Relay, fleet owners, truck managers and drivers or carriers first need to apply to join Relay. Once you're approved, you as a carrier can use the load board to find, book and assign loads. Once Relay receives your application, it will be approved or rejected in about two to four business days. And when approved, you can immediately start booking loads and access the Amazon Relay portal uh, frequently asked questions and operating guides as well. You also need to choose between the standard and book a truck modes. So the standard mode, you have access to the load list on the app and you use filters to, to find a load that best suits or, or fits your truck. The post a truck mode, that helps minimize a truck's idle time between loads. And when trucks are sitting, they're not making money. So you can post the details about your truck and then Amazon Relay finds relevant loads for you via an automated system, okay? Now, how can, how can you get Amazon loads as an owner operator? Well, owner operators for Amazon Relay can get it in three ways, okay? So you can book an available and suitable load on the Relay app. You can add the capacity of your open truck in the post a truck mode. So the system can find you a load and then you accept a load. And also you can plan future work by making use of Amazon Relay's short-term truck driving contracts. Once you've accepted a load or a contract, you, have, you can use the Relay app to uh, get real-time alerts, streamline check-in and check-out process, and also you get instructions for the commercial navigation of that load. As a truck driver, you can also pre-register your trailer or truck for an easy in and easy out once you arrive at the shipping yard further saving on time idling or spent idling essentially. Amazon only works with people that they think are suitable for their business. So to haul loads for relay, you need to have some requirements. Okay, so the requirements you need to meet, uh, whether you're an owner operator, fleet owner, or just a small fleet and uh, want to benefit from all that Amazon relay that has to offer, uh, you have to have a valid MC number, okay? Uh, Again, that's the unique identifier from the FMCSA. You can find more information about that on my channel. Uh, hit the like and subscribe, by the way. In addition to that, you have to have an active DOT number and it's required by the FMCSA if your commercial motor vehicle weighs more than an X amount or carries a specific number of passengers, of course. And an FMCSA safety rating, okay, you do have to have a safety rating. And uh, the carrier entity type should be authorized for property and hire, okay? In addition to this, good behavior analysis and safety improvement basics uh, have to be considered. So your basic score, they call it. So your unsafe driving has to be below 60% threshold. Your hours of servants compliance has to be below 60% threshold. And your, seven, and your uh, vehicle uh, maintenance has to be below 75% as well. 
Now, Amazon Relay, Relay also has the insurance requirements you have to consider. So aside from everything we've just mentioned, you also need to meet the specific insurance requirements. So Amazon wants to protect your company and their company and its customers from any potential losses and damages that can happen during the shipping process. OK, so you have to have a minimum cargo coverage of one hundred thousand dollars. You have to have a minimum general liability of one million per occurrence. And you have to have minimum commercial general liability of two million in the aggregate. You have to have a minimum auto liability of one million per occurrence, plus fifty thousand dollars trailer replacement coverage. You also have to have minimum employer liability of one hundred thousand per occurrence or incident workers compensation insurance for all the states where you might operate okay now in terms of what type of truck or equipment amazon works with so amazon relay will work with reefers in terms of trailers reefers 53 foot drive-ins and 28 foot trailers for the tractor side they will work with sleeper cabs day cabs uh, and also 26 foot box truck or straight truck with minimum internal dimensions 26 feet in length, eight feet in width, and eight feet in height, and a truck under a lift gate. Okay, so if you have a lift gate, it has to be one of those underneath lift gates. Okay, now Amazon Relay uh, is really working on this, so these things may change in the future in terms of who they want to work with and who they don't, but just make sure you're up to standards with what kind of equipment you have and what you're working with, and you're letting them know what's up. Now, if you get on the short term Amazon trucking contracts, Amazon trucking contracts uh, is, is a feature of Relay and it gives their partner carriers an opportunity to plan their work schedules, meaning that um, you uh, they don't have to worry about like empty trucks or idle time. So owners and managers can balance their workload and decide who is hauling what load and when. OK. So uh, truck uh, contract jobs is uh, a way to streamline your business while also minimizing risk, commit to future work and enjoy competitive rates and optimize your fleet. And Amazon contracts for owner operators, carriers and truck drivers can potentially be ideal uh, because it can fill the gaps between long term contracts and the spot work as well. And Amazon relay contracts can be taken uh, now or even weeks or months into the future. Every contract has an entire week of work. OK, as long as you don't cancel or reject the contract, your payout is guaranteed and you'll be paid 100 percent of the contract's value, even if Amazon doesn't make use of the full contracted capacity. And on the Relay app, carriers can see the start and end date of the contract. They can see blocks per week. They can see the driver count. They can see the block rate and also the total contract value. OK, now, if you want a contract, you can accept it. But just note that the contracts are available on a first come, first serve basis and new contracts are also available every single week. Now, how much do Amazon Relay loads pay? Well, Amazon Relay pays per load depends on various factors like route, distance, weight of the load, etc. In general, these Relay pays anywhere from buck 21 to three dollars and nine cents per mile. Now, how much does Amazon truck make? So when you regularly pick up loads from the Relay app, you can make an average of sixty three thousand dollars a year per truck. That's an hourly rate of over thirty dollars and uh, per hour. And uh, the weekly earnings are about 1200 bucks and a monthly salary of about 5200 bucks. OK, now on the low end, you can earn twenty four thousand and on the high end, you can earn like a hundred and some one hundred and one hundred and two thousand. However, drivers, uh, most drivers do earn between forty seven thousand five hundred dollars and seventy eight thousand dollars per year. So this is what I'm talking about. Does this fit? what you're looking for. Is this something for you? If it's not, you can look elsewhere where you may be paid a little bit more. OK, so you're not in this business to run a charity. You're in here to make money. So this is what I mean by you have to consider which which one is the best way to go for you. Now, in terms of uh, when do you get paid for hauling loads, the turnaround for getting paid one, once you've fulfilled a delivery is seven to 14 days. But typically you'll be paid on a Friday for all completed loads before 1159 p.m. on the previous Saturday. So let's say you hauled a one or a few loads from Sunday until Saturday, then you can expect payment to be following Friday 
uh, the following Friday of that next week. Okay. So like I said, you have to really consider, is this the type of uh, low uh, type of business that you want to get involved with? Like I said, if, if, if you're looking to minimize empty miles and looking to just, you know, get haul in and potentially grow your business, grow your revenue numbers, it could be a good fit, especially if you're from your larger cities where this is happening all over the place. Yeah, you can definitely take a look into this. So, hey, guys, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, if you stuck it to the end, give me a like, give me a subscribe. Look at more very detailed information on our channel. It's unedited stuff. It's just about trucking, logistics, freight brokering, freight forwarding, and the likes. All right. So thank you very much for taking a look at this. Cheers.